right y'all what is up to my girly family what's up youtube it is your girl lbell.baby and i'm back at it again with another video and my presence is magnetic if you don't believe me keep on watching and as you guys can see by this mother freaking title your girl is doing a back to school video your back to school tips that you're gonna need to be able to survive high school. So this is for all my high school girlies or boys, if you're tuning in, this is for y'all too as well. Or this is also maybe even for people who are in college and just needed, you know, maybe a little bit help. We're gonna be talking about a bunch of different topics. So if you're in school and you need some help and you're a freshman, you need some, you know, or even if you're a sophomore or junior and you need a little, you know, this is the right video for you because you're getting it from the best, you know? You're getting the best advice from the best. You know? So I'm just gonna be giving you guys some advice. If you guys wanna, you know, tune in, get some advice from your girl, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. And yeah, let's get into this video. We have about like eight different topics and we are gonna get straight into this thing because yeah, we have a lot to talk about. Let's get into the first one, which is obviously friends and friend groups. I would say when you are getting out of middle school and going into high school, most of the time you are not always gonna have the same people that were with you in middle school and high school because sometimes, you know, people might be going to different high schools. Um, and the other thing is high school is such a like, different space and atmosphere that you know so many things could happen even if your friends do go to the same school as you there could be certain instances where you guys won't be in the same classes and you guys won't see each other as much or there will be like different activities you guys might be in and you know you guys won't see each other as much i would just say to make sure that you focus on you know just like the friends that you have and the friends that are sticking with you you know like i wouldn't trip too much about like you know friends acting weird or different or distant or just like you know i just feel like don't worry too much about the friend thing because people act weird y'all people are weird so it's like you know just let them, you know, live their high school experience. If they want to be your friend, let them be your friend. But don't beg nobody for no friendship. No, that's what we don't do. We do not beg for friendships. So with the friend group situation, like my like personal experience with friend groups is not always the best because when there's such a big amount of friends or even when there's four i just feel like there's always like it's just weird like to me personally because i feel like there's always a person getting left out in friend groups there's always maybe that one person that isn't always like that isn't in the clique with them like they in the clique but they not in the clique though you know what i'm saying with friend groups i think it's important to watch out for friend groups like that friend groups that make you feel like you're not really a part of it you know or where you feel left out of things you know left out of conversations i just feel like having a big friend group can get a little bit chaotic but that's just my personal experience if you find some good friend like if you find some good girlfriends to find and they can like, and they kind of all like mesh together, I mean, then that's great because having more friends, more the merrier, you know? Like who wouldn't want more friends? But usually when you have too many girl personalities in a friend group, it usually sometimes can clash. So that's why I say it's not like, 
the ideal, especially like for me. But I think that if you can find at least three solid people or even two solid people um, to like hang out with, I think, you know, that's a good number. I don't think you should go above like four in a friend group. I just think that's too much. There's just too much going on. You know, get next into, you know, boys and relationships. You guys need to not focus on boys at all. Like, honestly, like any freshman that watching this or even anybody that's watching this that is in high school or is in school, period. I just feel like do not focus on boys. Just let the boys come to you. That's my personal opinion because if you focus on boys and you know, if you're in, in you know, and I could definitely speak for that because I was boy crazy, you could say. So I just feel like you shouldn't be too focused on boys, especially in school, because you're in school. Boys are always going to be a thing. There's never not gonna be boys around in life. Do not worry about these boys because honestly, they only want one thing. And I know a lot of people always say that, but they really do. They only want one thing. And most of the time, they're wasting your time. So it's like, and plus, I feel like if you just don't even chase any boys and don't get all into all that, and you just kind of let them come to you, then those are going to be the good ones that you find. And those are going to be the ones that actually matter in the long run and i wouldn't want none of y'all girls to waste y'all time or regret y'all time that you cannot get back just because of a stupid boy in school like no especially if he goes to your school then that means that if something happens you gotta deal with that you gotta see that person's face every single day day and i also know how that feels too because yeah i would be gay people that go to my school and it's like don't do that if, at least if you are gonna date boys when you're in school at least date somebody that's outside of your school but i'm not gonna lie though if you have trust issues maybe you shouldn't though because you don't you can't keep an eye on them and you don't know what they're doing at the other school so that's what but that's what i'm saying though like you shouldn't even worry about boys because then you have to worry about that even if they go to a different school it's just like boys are always going to be here in this world so i just feel like do not worry about no little stanky boys that don't even know how to wash themselves properly yet but with relationships i do feel like sometimes it can be beneficial if you meet the right person because you know you don't you know even meeting that one wrong person can you know change the your the way you think it can change a lot of things like just that meeting that one person i'm telling y'all so i mean i think it's important to watch out who you give your time to and who you allow in your space if you do want to get into a relationship you have to really make sure that they care about you and they want the best for you because really you really should just be focusing on school because it's just relationships are just and most of the time nine times out of ten the relationship does not last high school relationships usually do not last nine times out of ten and that one percent is even still rare because then most of the time they don't even fully make it you know all the way but i would just say be very careful be cautious watch out for you know if they really care about you if they just want the cookie and you know just be aware you know know the difference next we're going to talk about drama and fighting <laughs> y'all this topic is so funny because i feel like in high school there's no real drama it's kind of like all like in our head real shit because like what beef do y'all really have none at all like 
honestly, I would say that's why I said also make sure who you keep around your circle and who you allow in your space because that's the other thing. If you allow certain people into your space, find friends that you mesh well together with because you don't want your friends to be getting you into stupid situations and you're getting in trouble at home they don't have to deal with your parents you do so make sure you understand that when you when you're choosing your friends because you don't want dumb people getting you in trouble getting you into stupid fights and shit because like honestly that fighting stuff is not cute yes i only i only personally i only suggest that y'all fight if and only if somebody is really like threatening you your life your family like that's the only way that i'll allow the fighting thing because fighting is just not cute like like it's just not cute y'all like why would you want to sit there you know be doing all of this your hair is getting messed up your face is probably getting messed up your outfit like i just don't understand you can be in drama like i guess you could like listen to it but don't be into it to the point where it's affecting you your schoolwork how you operate in school and shit don't allow that drama to affect you in school because you the drama i'm telling you does not matter it may seem interesting it may seem like it's like you know such a big deal in the moment but i promise you all of this stuff like high school is so important but then it's also not so important if that makes it's not that important to the sense of when you leave high school all that stuff is not gonna matter all that drama all that fighting all those boys all those relationships all that stuff that's in high school is not gonna matter but the stuff that actually matters is you know literally like the experience you make out of high school and the friendships and the people that you meet but you have to be careful because there will be people out here that pretend like they care about you but will have your ass in some mess and you have to watch out for those people because you don't want that to affect how you are in school your grades allow you to get in trouble no we're not doing that you're too cute for that girl Next. <laughs> Next y'all we're going to be talking about homework and grades. So the homework and grades I just wanted to put down because for homework, you want to make sure that you stay on top of your homework. Literally as soon as you start freshman, as soon as you start do not play. Do not play I'm telling y'all because if you let that work pile up it's going to get to the point where you're not even gonna wanna do it because there's so much that you have to do. Like, just don't do it, y'all. Once you get an assignment, do it. Do not wait until the last minute. Do not wait and just let it pile up because it will start to get hectic and you will not want to do it. Just don't do it. And even like with grades, like, so I would suggest sometimes um with grades like teachers can be sometimes a little it depends on the teacher that you do have and that's why i do want to say to build a relationship with your teachers in high school because it's going to be super important in the long haul especially with um, the certain teachers that you may have for the whole year and stuff like that you want to make sure that you build a relationship with them so then in times of when you maybe need to retake a test or when you need to talk to them about grade changing, et cetera, et cetera. They're willing to listen, willing to help you, and also willing to just have a conversation with you because if you act like you care, then they will help you. But especially maybe even the teach, especially even maybe the teachers that have the classes that you struggle in, build a stronger relationship with those teachers so then they can help you with the stuff that you need to get help on you know next we are going to talk about classes organization and time management
I wanted to talk about classes because I wanted to give you guys a little bit of like maybe a little bit of a tip when you guys do if you're a freshman and you're getting into the high school atmosphere and things do not worry about not being able to find your classes because someone's gonna be there to help you and also like and also like it's okay to mess up on your first like couple weeks because it's just like who cares i i remember when i was was starting high school and i was a freshman and i was just like so nervous because i did not want to like mess up my classes or go to the wrong you know class or whatever but don't worry about that it's all about learning finding where your classes are and stuff because high school is way bigger there are more floors well, high school is big my high school is super big in my opinion well it was big when i first got there but once i got used to it it wasn't big to me anymore but yeah and also finding what classes that you do like um it's okay that if you look at your schedule and then you see that maybe they signed you up for something that you don't like or if you do go to the class for that one for the first day and you don't like it i would suggest immediately going to um the office um to your um advisor or whatever for um your um grade or whatever and i would definitely suggest that you change it right away because you won't be able to change it I believe like halfway into the semester you'll only be able to change it in the beginning so I want that to be a heads up because you want to make sure that you have the classes that you want so then you're happy about it because you don't want to be mad about your classes that you're gonna have for pretty much like the rest of the year so make sure that you know if maybe the first day that you try that class and you don't like it make sure you go and talk to your counselor and change it and they will change it for you organization and time management in high school is super super important i think organization will really help you in high school because you just need to stay organized it will not help if you're you know sloppy you don't know how to properly take care of things because especially it's the same thing with the homework if you let that stuff build up it's going to be harder to maintain and harder to just keep up with so you want to make sure you keep your things organized have a maybe a planner for homework for dates that are important on um, certain school days are important monthly planners maybe like a cute little fun monthly planner like the one that i have you guys could get that like at five below also maybe like a cute notebook that you maybe want to like keep things in just making get something anything that's cute fun something that represents you to make it fun to organize the time management is also pretty much the same thing so also being able to manage how your life will go especially like maybe after school if you have a job and then you also want to do maybe after school activities kind of figuring out how to timely manage everything and also making sure that you have time to breathe as well and you're not just on the go 24 7 because you do want to make sure that you have time for yourself you're not overworking yourself because that also what will cause a burnout also school activities we was just talking about that so school activities such as pep rallies sports i wanted to talk about that because i want you guys to get into school activities i cannot stress this enough anybody that is in school right now please take a school activity it is so fun and you're going to meet new people it's going to be a new experience and literally it's just fun like literally find something that you love to do it could be dance basketball football volleyball anything i used to do dance in 
in high school and it was super fun i met a bunch of different girls we got to make like cute t-shirts we got to have like maybe like snacks and stuff with the teacher it was just cool like it was fun and it was a moment in my life that i will not forget so i want you guys to get into school activities and also be there for the pep rallies the pep rallies are fun get into the pep rallies don't be one of those people that's you know trying to downplay you know the pep rallies and stuff or the football games and stuff you know be there for your school support your school be there for a good time you know that's what high school is all about it's all about building memories building friendships the basketball games and the football games they always are so fun so go to those i feel like even if you don't like sports you have to go like it's just an experience at least just for the one time y'all and then the last topic y'all is peer pressure and insecurities so with peer pressure and insecurities y'all peer pressure can get a little tricky because some people are affected by it some people aren't but my suggestion is like i said to pretty much surround yourself by people that want the best for you but as soon as you notice that somebody is asking you something that you do not want to do and i don't even care so if it's in person i would just walk the other direction walk straight away and do not talk to that person ever again if it's through text block them immediately do not talk to them like just immediately cut that person off no explain you don't need to explain yourself no ties anything just cut them off because anybody that would force you to do something that you would not want to do does not want that does not want the best for you and probably isn't your real friend in the first place so just immediately cut that person off and you'll be fine and just making sure to be aware of who you're surrounding yourself around and you know just being aware also like with insecurities as well like don't worry about that like at all pretty much in your head every morning i would Mm, yes in your head every morning y'all this is for girl boy anything every morning before you go to school be in the bathroom literally talking to yourself like i am pretty i am handsome i am this i am that because as soon as you say that every single day you will start to believe it is words of affirmation is speaking into existence and it will literally help you and then once you keep saying it you'll believe it eventually and then it will be stuck in your head and in your mind frame where it won't even be able to leave so i would su suggest that for people who might be insecure people who are stepping into a bigger realm of things and don't know how to you know maybe accept the skin or the way they look so literally just take the time to yourself to do those things and it will just all come together in the end so this is going to be the end of this video if you guys made it this far i much appreciate you you might as well subscribe to your girl because you're not going to want to miss any of my new videos also press that bell so you're notified each and every time when i post and i will see you guys in the next video